We're back on the 73 square body C10. Just did the uh, the starter on it this morning. I went to fire it up yesterday. Starter is uh, right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it too well. But I uh, did that this morning. I went to fire it up yesterday to go over to the girlfriend's parents' house and freaking starter gear broke and snapped the nose cone off so we got that done um, I'm getting ready here to do a valve adjustment and the main reason I'm doing that is just because of the, the valve cover leaking oil um, so I'm majority just replacing that gasket but I figured while I'm in there I'll double check and see if any of the valves need adjusting and if they do we'll get it done All right, let's get this valve cover pulled off, and then we'll uh, see what we're working with. Oop, I might need to go grab a deep well. I'm gonna just start by breaking them all, all free. Yeah, we'll have to go grab a deep well for that one. Alright. Maybe. Maybe able to use... That's actually a different size altogether. Well, maybe we'll have a spare bolt somewhere we can use for that instead of throwing in the wrong bolt again. Or I'm assuming is the wrong bolt. I don't know why that wouldn't be any different than the other bolts. Maybe because of the wires and stuff that go through right there. Kind of a weird bolt. But, uh, this valve cover pulled off and, and clean it up a little bit. Breather tube off there. This engine actually seems to run really, really well for I don't know when it had its last service, but seems to run very, very, very well. So I'm not figuring that we'll need too much valve adjustment, but I don't know until we get in there. I'll make sure I clean that, that connection up so we have a good ground connection for that body ground right there. Cover cover came up nice and easy. Take that off. This fucking fuel line's gonna end up getting replaced.
So I learned a little trick for adjusting valves while I was in school from the power and performance instructor. Yeah, this thing is brittle as hell. Doesn't look like there's too too much sludge in here. It actually looks very very clean for what it is. for a almost 50 year old truck. I'm honestly very impressed with how clean it is up in here actually. I think most of this goop fell off when I pulled the valve cover off. So what we'll do is we'll turn the engine over by hand uh, without getting shit caught up in there. And because this, this truck does not have a, uh, a fan clutch, it's mounted directly to the uh, water pump here. It's uh, when I turn this fan blade, these flam blades here, it actually rotates the entire engine. So what we'll do is, I'm going to call cylinder 1 here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We'll rotate these over until these uh, lifters are both sitting on the base circle of the cam. The way that I learned how to do it from my power and performance instructor when I was in school, who built a couple race cars that have national uh, records, is if you are able to spin the engine over by hand, or even with the starter if you have two people, but I am by myself, so I do not have two people. If I spin this over, and I watch these two valves, I know that these two valves are not moving. These are both on base circle. And what the instructions in that book say is when you're spinning this rod between your fingers with slight resistance as you're tightening down this nut, you want slight resistance on this push rod and it wants you to go one or, or three quarters of a turn more. So I'm going to do three quarters right here. There's one, two, and three. Now this rocker is also on base lobe or base circle of the, the cam journal. But another way that you can verify that too is if you take your engine, spin it over, To where your uh, this is your exhaust um, exhaust valve. If you spin it over where your exhaust valve is starting to go down, that tells us that our intake valve here is at top dead center or at top of its travel. So it's on the base base lobe. If and that that goes for same. If you do that with this one where it starts going down, this one's finally all the way up at its top reach, and it, the lifter is at on the base lobe of the uh, the cam, we can adjust this one too. They're not very loose, but each one of these is just a little bit loose. Oh, I still got a piece of my valve cover in there. Alright, I got slight resistance there. Let's go three quarters of a turn more. Uh, I say that's roughly three quarters of a turn, and you still got side to side play, but no up and down. So now we'll just do the same thing on this next cylinder. So both of our rockers here are on base circle. So 
slight resistance so I'm going to go three quarters of a turn more one quarter two quarter three quarter and then I'm going to do the same thing on this one but I got to run in and check on the dogs really quick alrighty so now we'll get this one adjusted and I'll probably just do a uh, quick little zoom through and get the rest of these done you guys don't need to watch me doing that